all kind of names. Yo, my nicknames got nicknames. Hello, everyone. This is Kara. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a special cinematic beat sync video. This is a very different kind of video effect. The special part about it is that the picture comes out partly first, and then the full picture follows, which is pretty interesting. By using this effect, you can quickly bring the viewer's attention to the object you want to highlight. You can use it in the opening of your video, in the introduction of a character, or anywhere else you want to use it. And without further ado, let's get the video started. First, we open VidiPro Vlogger. Click here to create a new project. Then, drag the video footage prepared into the VidiPro Vlogger. Here, we need to know that, apart from the video clip, we also need to prepare a black picture clip and a piece of rhythmic music. After importing, you can see the software has already put a video audio and pictures into different categories. Let's put a video footage on the main track. Play it and find a position that can be used as an opening. To make the editing easier, we click here, but don't play it. And drag the mouse to the right to zoom in on the timeline. Let's drag the cursor and find a position to start from. For example, here looks pretty good. Click Split to cut the video from here. You can also use the shortcut Ctrl B and select the first half of the video which we don't need. Click on Delete or use the shortcut Delete to delete it. Next, we need to take a picture of this frame as a clip. Click on the Slapshot button in the upper right corner. Then, import a screenshot into VideoPro Vlogger. Drag the screenshot onto the overlay track we can see that the image is not covering the whole screen. Let's come to the inspector on the right. Scroll down and find the transform. Click to align the height. Next, we go to the crop tab. Drag the four dots in the window to crop the image to a shape we want, like this. Then click apply. We can notice the cropped image is zoomed in. So we need to adjust the size and the position of the image. We click here and drag the four corners of the image to scale the image equally until the image is similar in scale to the video. Then select the image and move it to the original position. The position is about right and doesn't need to be exactly accurate. Well, that's pretty much it. We are done with the first picture. Isn't that easy? Well, we will create a second image we click here to create a new overlay track and drag the material to the overlay track and then repeat what we just did. Note that this time we need to stay a little bit apart from the first edit. Make sure to space out the image appropriately. And this will make the final effect look more interesting. As before, we adjust position so it is aligned with the first frame of the video. For the remaining two frames, we will do a quick operation. OK, now we have all four frames cropped out. At this point, there is no effect in the opening. So we still need to put the black image we imported into the main sequence. Well, that is working. Next, we need to put the music on the music track. Let's play it. You can see here the music has a very clear drum beat. Now we need to align the image with the beats of the music at the same time. Let's move the image to the position of these drum beats. Then change the duration of the black image to the position of this drum beat. Let's play it and see. Well, the effect is basically complete. Next, we can add some text and effects and transitions. 
I'm going to do this quickly. You can adjust it to suit your own needs. Okay, let's see the effect. Man, I go by all kind of names. Yo, my nickname's got nick Well, this is all for today's video. And if you want to know more about other and tricks or what has been going on with the video vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to the subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.